lovely sunny morning and this is on the surface it looks like a lead token you don't find many lead tokens nowadays that's quite an interesting one there you go clean up a bit when I get home I'm going to give these lead tokens to the museum because uh, well because it's a nice thing to do so let's go and find some silver and gold but that's a good start that's like the second find of the day so there's my mate fun time frankie he's called fun time frankie because his name's frank and he knows how to have a good time <laughs> my mate just made an analogy of uh, uh, this is like detecting in porridge, and it is, really. Anyhow, so uh, in the porridge, not far down, really hard to find this stuff. I don't know what that is. Uh, it looks, it's definitely silvery. It's nice, interesting. So let's get that off. I don't think it is. I think it's silver plated. If it is anything, so. A look. Yeah, silver plated. So it was old. That's a pretty nice find. I like it. Let's move on to the gold. Right, quick lunch break. E track. And the uh, fun time, Frankie. Having a fun time as usual. We found quite a few coins actually, but nothing special. This is interesting. Not found anything like this. It's like copper colour. It's got cross on there. I don't know what the is. And that's got some, some kind of design on that. I'll put that in the clay ball so it uh, stays a bit stable. And. Uh, Right, let's go and find some silver and gold in the afternoon. Do you want to be in charge of the stones, Isis? Isis. Okay, uh, the first video after Susie's sad demise. And uh, her sister, uh, his sister even. Uh, she's just been done, and that's Isis. She's going to be a superstar from now on. So, not much to uh, tell you about. That's all bits of incendiary bomb. That's the answer I was looking for on the last video. Shrapnel, nothing special. Scrap. That's weird. A really thin sliver of uh, stone. Very strange. Uh, pottery. That's weird. It's not weird, but uh, I don't know how old it is. That's a lovely stone. Zeus would have loved that stone. I might put that on his grave. A stone that Zeus would have loved. There's the token. Uh, yeah, clumsy yesterday. How clumsy was I? In that uh, the. Uh, silvered button I found. Uh, I thought I'd put it in my pouch, but uh, you know it sticks to your gloves, and so uh, you don't put it in your, in your pouch, and it uh, it goes. Doesn't it? Ice is down. Oh, she's going to help me now. She likes purring, does Ice? Uh, uh, so yeah, and secondly, I lost my mobile phone. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, and Isis is doing well there. You're doing a good, good job there, Isis, darling. Right, so uh, I've got some things for you here. I do. I'd still be very interested in uh, advice on this. What kind of shell it is. Found in a field about 12 inches down. That I found yesterday. 
the British uh, Museum of London look that kind of thing. You don't find good condition nails like that in the fields. Now here's the interesting coin I found yesterday and I'd be grateful if anyone could give me an idea on it. That's the one I showed you in the field and it's got the cross on it and it's got some writing on so if anyone can give me a, an idea I'm showing it to you because I never get coins showing detail when they're you know brass or copper but this one appears to be copper and shows detail Yeah, it looks like it's got is it two flags on it or something. Don't be so great for those opinions. Uh, musket balls, I keep finding musket balls of different sizes. Yeah. And quick update on my bits and pieces. my dress but anyhow it's not important don't really care about that so uh, that's what happens uh, when you find uh, potential acts of treasure potential items of treasure then they get go to the coroner eventually and uh, my well this is uh, an oldest letter that has been declared treasure that silver thimble and this is what I deposited in the British Museum or Museum of London I thought I'd tell you about it uh, a plaque I found at the Thames quite a beautiful plaque actually the, you see that but uh, Museum of London wished to acquire it and I said it'd be okay if you put my website address which is metaldetectingagency.co.uk uh, and then a jeton, really nice jeton, found the Thames. Items of wood, it says there, but it's actually a, a wood with a seal on it. Really interesting, the museum would look, look that. What else you got? Oh, yeah, iron knife blade, I found in Wales. Uh, the greyhound head, I think you saw me detecting that live, finding that live. They think it could be Roman. Then a couple of coins. And the gold button, which you saw me finding knife. And uh, the coin, remember the coin I found? The German coin from the Civil War period. Uh, Cromwell, Jeff, Jeff Cromwell, I'll call him Jeff Cromwell. He very kindly sent me, sent me some information. And he thinks it may be uh, you know dropped by uh, or yeah dropped by someone helping the royalists German coin because uh, there was a Prince Rupert who was very famous in the Civil War and uh, he helped the royalists and he was from Germany and he brought big band of soldiers across uh, so that's the silver perforated coin, and what else? There oh, you go, the Roman fish ring fitting. So there you go. That's uh, that's what you get from the Museum of London. So I thought I'd just show you that. And and yeah, they one they had a slight suggestion on the Roman thing, and that it could be Roman folding chair fitting I put that up and I couldn't find anything uh, so there you go and uh, I, I hear well, I'll get uh, a nice print out of all all the details of my finds from the Museum of London in February so there you go and uh, that's about it with love to my Susie wherever he is and where Isis is. I think she's lost interest now that we're not talking about stones. <laughs> so yeah, I hope you find some girls soon. Soon. Take care. Bye.